Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and we're up with another procrastination page in the junk journal. These are the final few spreads that I have just been avoiding. It's the simplest way to put it. Uh, I've been avoiding them for lots of reasons. This particular page I've been avoiding because I didn't like how I wrote the quote and I felt like I ruined it a little bit. Uh, and then I didn't know how to rescue it. So we were starting off with gesso because you can always cover everything up. And so I gessoed most of the page. I did leave the illustrations out. Uh, and then I scribbled some paint pen on a piece of plastic that was next to me and added a little bit of water because you could still see the quote through the gesso and I did want to cover that up uh, quite a lot. So the pink paint pen activated with the water and acted like a like a watercolory kind of uh, medium. So that was really nice just to add some soft colour to the page. I tossed and turned about, no, that's not the right expression. I went to and fro between uh, what stencil to use. And then I decided to abort the stencil mission because I it just wasn't working. I was thinking of using that girl, which I used in a I used in an art journal process video a couple of years ago, and I loved it. But because that page turned out uh, so nice, like I really liked it, I've been a bit scared to use it again because I think I might stuff it up. So. I will try and get that girl on a page at some point, hopefully. Uh, but I decided instead to go with a bit of a collage background because I still wanted to see uh, parts of these illustrations. I didn't want them to disappear completely. And I had lots of scraps still on my desk because I've been filming so much. Things are just piling up even more than they usually do. I, I'm not a clean desk person all the time. I do sometimes have a clean desk. Usually when I've done a whole week of filming and I know I've got a few days of editing coming up and I won't be coming back to craft for a while. Uh, but if I know that I'm making things the next day, I quite often leave the crafter lunches where they are. And as a result, because I've made an extra, uh, how many videos, how many days does June have? 30 days has September, April, June. So I have made an extra 26 videos this month, which is a lot of extra videos and a lot of extra paper scraps. Uh, so I've got a lot of these little strips on my desk and then my painted paper bin is overflowing and I need to, uh, I need to get in it and make some stuff using the painted papers. So I'm going through and grabbing all sorts of bits and pieces. There's some jelly plate printed deli paper. There's some paint swatches on cardstock. There's one of my inky printables on sticker paper. All sorts of things that's jelly plate printing on uh, some labels. Just anything that went with a bit of a pink and blue uh, type theme. I... I have done the last few pages that I've made have been quite yellow and I wanted to go back to a bit of a pink and blue page. Um, I was kind of craving it <laughs> a little bit because the um, I'd made the recent uh, scrapbooking video that was all neutral colors and I just needed to go back to my my roots. You know, do you ever get like that when you you try something new and you you're enjoying it but you just crave something like you used to. You just crave a bit of normality. And I think in our current times in 2020, there's so much going on and, and so many new um, things that we haven't had to deal with before, like the, the global pandemic. Uh, and I think that sometimes we all just crave a little bit of our, what we like, what we're comfortable with. And even in our crafting, we still crave that, that comfort and that um, familiarity with things that we're that we're used to and I was feeling like I needed some pink and blue in my life <laughs> so that's where we're at today. I was going to use this photo of uh, Aaron and I but it was too big so then I thought about using this smaller one I did recently if you've been tuning into the Inky June Marathon where I've been posting a video 
every day in June. Uh, I posted a scrapbooking video using this photo the other day and I had one left over. So I was going to pop it in, but it just wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't working. So then I thought about using this mask stencil that I've had for ages and ages uh, and I didn't. You will see that mask come up in the next art journaling video, I do believe. Uh, so instead I went for this one because I did need something in the background. I feel like if I just left the collage papers uh, the way that they were, they kind of looked a bit plonked on, like they didn't quite belong there. And by overlapping the stenciling, it just ties it all in uh, a little bit and kind of fades, doesn't fade them too much because let's be real, they're bright blue background papers. It's, it's not going anywhere, but it just calms them down and pushes them into the background uh, a little bit more. So this stencil, ooh, I think it could be a Flutter by Designs one, possibly, I'm thinking by the size and shape of it. And I had forgotten about it, um, but I'm really glad that I found it again. I still had lots of pink paint left over, so I'm going through my Use It Up journal, which is something that I've done for the last few years where I just get extra paint, uh, or if I've used a, a stencil that I um, is dirty, I will use it in my Use It Up journal just to get a little bit more use out of it. And I'm just washing down that pink paint a little bit and covering over some texture paste that I wasn't a huge uh, fan of here. So this will be another page for another day. I uh, recently finished the first Use It Up journal. Have I posted the flip through for that? I'm pretty sure I have. Let me know. I think I have. If I haven't, I will definitely post that very soon because I finished that quite a while ago. Uh, and I have just finished this junk journal. So the, post, the flip through for this junk journal will be up uh, in the next couple of months, which is exciting once all of the process videos have been up for it. Uh, but I am about to endeavor on a new journal and I think I'm going to make another junk journal because I just, I just love them so much. I have got four other journals, art journals on the go at the moment. I think it's four, one, two, five, five other art journals, uh, but none of them are junk journals and it's just a different, a different feel. So then I am adding some more stenciling because I felt like I needed another pattern in the background. And I, I like to do a larger pattern first with a colour and then a more delicate pattern or a dainty pattern, a smaller sized um, stencil on the foreground so that it overlaps and ties in. So if you are overlapping stencils, um, have a think about the size of the stencil holes. I'm sure there's a more professional name than stencil holes. But uh, just be wary of your stencil holes and do the big ones first and then the little ones over the top so that you can still see them. I, at this point, I still felt like some of those background papers were a bit plonked on there. And I also knew that I wanted to do some some sort of writing or journaling or a quote, some, something in the background. And I was worried it was going to be a bit too busy. Uh, so I had some white gesso. So I'm just using my, my finger to very technically smush it all over the edges of the torn paper, just to soften it up a little bit. And so that I had some places to do some writing as well in a moment. There was also the deli paper that I used had some murky points where the colours didn't really work together uh, and they were a little, a little, not completely brown, but just, uh, just murky. Murky is the best way to describe them. And so I just used the white gesso to swiftly cover those spots up. I'm using this photo of the kiddos today, the two miniest inklets. And uh, I wanted to, to use this photo because I made a scrapbook page with this photo uh, recently over on Patreon, but I printed too many copies of it. Uh, I gave some to the grandparents, of course, and I had printed an extra one with the intention of putting it up somewhere in my house, but I want to use it in my journal instead. So um, I think I really do need to get printing. I talked about this recently, but I really need to print some photos 
for our walls. I will one day. I'm actually in desperate need of printing scrapbooking photos because I only have one more week's worth of photos printed. So that's probably, oh, I think it was a big week. It's probably three pages of Project Life and three or four layouts. Uh, but then I have no photos left. And as I'm recording this voiceover, I am, what's today? This video is going up on Saturday. Uh, I am currently away uh, this weekend at a little scrappy girl's getaway and I only have a, not many photos to work on. So I think that's a bit of a bit of a wake up call that next week I will be spending some time photo editing and printing. And you all know how joyous I find that job. Mm. Yes, so that will be fun. Uh, but it's a, a necessary task in this uh, paper crafting game. <laughs> I I really prefer elements in threes and I didn't have a lot of that uh, pink text paper left. So I managed to cut a teeny little star out of it as well um, and pop that down. And then my star was lifting up on the corners. So just going through and adding a bit of extra glue to really stick that down. Uh, the pink star paper was just a bit of, I think it was Frankie magazine, and I had put some hot pink jelly plate over the top of it, um, which is a good way to customise different text paper if you want to use it for collage in your art journals. I just want to take this moment as well. We've still got a whole week and a little bit uh, of the Inky June Marathon, but thank you so very much for following along with it so far. It's been really fun. It has been a big job uh, to film 26 extra videos this month, but I wanted to give back to you guys just for your incredible support and um, just for being there for me because this this year has been, it's been a tough one. Um, it's been a very tough one. Um, I found out recently that I have had postnatal depression for six months and have done nothing about it. So that's fun. I have since done uh, some things about that, but yeah, it's just, it's been a, it's been a really tough year and your support has meant more to me than you will ever be able to know. So just know that I, I really do love and appreciate all of you. So thank you very much. Back to the layout. Uh, I am adding some stamping here because it needed another pop of black lines. It had the uh, the, line, the outline of the flowers and the black of the text, of course, but it needed a little something to rough up the background a bit. And this page is done. So thanks so much for watching today, peeps. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this page. And like I said, thanks so much for all the thumbs up and the beautiful comments. I'm going to sit down and reply to a lot of comments this week. So stay tuned. Um, but yes, thanks again and have an amazing weekend. Bye. 